tau overflows orgasm the prelude to meditation mystical insights into human sexuality is not only deep instead mysterious as well accordingly it is the orgasmic experience of bliss that has given humanity in the earlier days the idea of meditation during the moments of orgasm the time disappears the ego disappears and this is the reason that one is looking for a deeper source idea of looking for something better more intense more vital orgasm is nature's indication that you contain within yourself a tremendous reservoir of blissfulness orgasm simply gives you the first taste of this blissfulness and once you have the taste your search can begin mankind specifically womankind suffers from many sicknesses up to now all the so called civilizations and cultures have been psychologically sick they have never dared even to recognize their sickness and the first step of treatment is to recognize that you are sick psychologically man has found a unique way of not giving the woman even a single orgasm even take away from her the conception that she can ever have an orgasm <coughs> male sex is local genitals the same is not the case with the female her sexuality and her sensuality is spread all over the body it takes a longer time for her to be ready and before she even gets warmed up the man is finished he turns his back towards her and starts snoring for thousands of years millions of women around the world have lived and died without knowing the greatest natural gift of orgasmic joy it was a protection for man's ego the woman needs a long foreplay so that her whole body starts tingling with sensuality but then there is a danger in it what to do with her capacity for multiple orgasm look that scientifically sex should not be taken so serious there is a problem in it and as a result man is afraid of using such scientific devices if through scientific devices women has known the taste of even a single orgasm then she can forget man so the simplest way man has found is that woman should not even move while he is making love to her she should remain almost like a corpse and man's orgasm is quick 2 minutes 3 minutes at the most but that by by that time woman is not at all aware of what she has missed as far as biological reproduction is concerned orgasm is not necessary but for the spiritual growth is concerned taste of orgasm is necessary but as far as the spiritual growth is concerned taste of orgasm is a necessity according to me it is the orgasmic experience or bliss that has given humanity in the early days the idea of meditation of looking for something better 
more intense and more vital. Orgasm is nature's indication that you contain within yourself a tremendous amount of blissfulness. It simply gives you the taste of it. Then you can go on the search. The orgasmic state, even the recognition of it, is a very recent thing. Just in this century, psychologists became aware of what problems women are facing. Through psychoanalysis and other psychological schools, the conclusion was the same that if she is being prevented from spiritual growth, she remains just a domestic servant. As far as reproducing children is concerned, man's ejaculation is enough. So biology has no problem but psychology has. Women are more irritable, nagging, witchy, and the reason is that they have been deprived of something that is their birthright, and they do not even know what it is. Only in the Western societies has the younger generation became aware of the orgasm. And it is not coincidental that the younger generation has gone into the search for truth for ecstasy because orgasm is momentary, but it gives you the glimpse of the beyond. Three things happen in orgasm. First, mind stops the constant noise. It becomes for a moment no mind. The second, time stops and finally the third there is no ego sense in the moment of orgasm that single moment of orgasmic joy is so immense and so fulfilling that it is equal to eternity in the early days man because of these three things which give you greatest pleasure possible as far as nature is concerned. In the early days man became aware that these are the three things which give you greatest pleasure possible as far as nature is concerned. And it was a simple and logical conclusion that if you can stop your chattering mind and become so silent that everything stops, time included. Then you are free from sexuality. No need to depend on the other person. No need to depend on the other person, man or woman. You are capable of attaining this state of meditation alone. An orgasm cannot be more than momentary, but meditation can spread over the whole 24 hours. A man like Gautam Buddha is living every moment of his life in orgasmic joy. It has nothing to do with sex. It has been asked again and again why very few women became enlightened. Among other reasons, the most important reason is they never had any taste of orgasm. The window to the vast sky never opened. They lived, they produced children, and they died. They were used by biology and men, just like factories producing children. Enough for now.